Okay, so I'm just going to make some layers for this um, project that you've done previously, and I'm going to start with uh, something that's uh, hopefully pretty easy to relate to. This shed here has a lot of um, elements that you'll work with all the time in your own drawings. And so, uh, to get to the layers, you have on the, um, the toolbars at the top, you'll see this panel that has zero in it, and that's a layer already. So layer zero is your system layer. It's the layer that's created with your file, and it's always there. So you need to have at least one layer, and, uh, and so you'll always have layer zero. Next to that, you'll see there's a button that brings up the layer, uh, it's called the layer properties manager. Just think of it as your layer um, your layer tool. So that's your main uh, tool for working with layers. I'll just close that and switch to the drafting annotation uh, workspace. Look at this. Uh, so that you can see you've got there as well a panel that looks pretty similar. It's there you can see again where you've got layer zero and then this time it's at the top left that you have that layer properties um, manager. So it's the same tool, it's just you get to it in different ways in those two workspaces. Also you can type in uh, on the command line LA and then enter. Uh, and so once you have the layer properties manager you can then go to new layer which is the first in the group of four buttons. You'll see the group of four with a tick and the cross at the end and then to the left you've got the first button, new layer. And so I'm simply going to call this layer, uh, again keeping it simple, walls. And then I'll make another layer, walls dash hatch. So then looking at the other elements we have in that shed, uh, you'll see if you move that um, palette around, you can obviously uh, keep it open while you look at things in your drawing. And there's, there's a button there below the cross which is um, auto hide and that basically makes the panel there hide or, or not. And it's uh, maybe a bit disconcerting at first when you're moving the uh, cursor away, you'll see it disappear. But you can always click on that button to make it um, stay there. And so here I want some layers for the door. I'll just go to, again, new layer, and we'll call it, uh, let's say, just door. And then another layer, door swing. You can draw it first and then create the You can, yep, absolutely, yep. Okay, so uh, I'll just uh, work with those layers to begin with, and I'll set my colours, and you have those just next to the uh, layer name, you'll see the colour swatch, you can just click on that, and in the um, colour selector you've got all of the uh, index colours at the top, and then down the bottom you have the standard colours, so they're the, uh, the row below the that larger palette there. Okay, so I might set the the walls to uh, just cyan and the walls hatch. I'll make uh, yellow. The door. I'll make uh, same line marks. I'll make that cyan as well. And then the door swing. I'll make red. Uh, and so it's good at first to use those colours down the bottom just because that's the industry standard. They're um, the most commonly used colours from, you can see there, the numbers that come up, 1 to 9. Uh, you've got these colours above, which uh, go up to, uh, to uh, 256 essentially, and, uh, or 255. And they're all um, also okay. But, uh, but again, if you can try to use those colours down the bottom at first, that, um, that's a good habit. Then I'll just make this a bit larger so I can see then the line weight. And so with the um, door swing there, we want that to have a light line weight. So I'm going to make that 
0.13 and I'm just clicking onto the uh, again just to the um, where it says default there so the door I'm going to change to uh, point we'll just do it point 0.25 for now and I uh, know oh so I'm getting carried away I'll just do the door 0.35 sorry uh, the walls hatch I'll do 0.25 and the walls will do 0.35 uh, yeah they're pretty typical line weights yeah okay so I'll also make the uh, I'll just make the walls layer current so with any layer selected you can click the tick at the top and that sets the current layer so that if you draw new lines, I'll just close this now if I was to go and draw new lines now they'll be on that walls layer and you can see there because they're a different colour Is that the base layer? Yeah, exactly, yeah, well it's the current, yeah, the, the layer drawing on and you can see it up here oh, so you can skip that one. Yeah, yeah, so you can change, and you can also change it here as well so if you change to a layer there, that's the current layer and you can then again draw lines on that layer so they're not, if you've uh, used other programs like Photoshop or even um, Word, I think sort of has layers these days, but definitely Photoshop and InDesign, those programs have layers uh, and they have an order. So they're stacked up on top of each other the way you draw uh, with chasing paper with the different layers of paper. Uh, but layers in AutoCAD don't have an order. So it doesn't really matter what order they're in, nothing's on top of, well, things are on top of each other, but not with the layers. So, uh, so don't worry about the order, it's really just to set the properties. I'll get rid of these lines. Right, so I want to change the layer of these objects I've made already. And to do that, you simply need to select the things you want to change. And then from the drop down, choose the layer you want it to go onto. Right, so if you remember when you have these clips that come up, clear those, press escape and then you can select something else so I'll maybe select these door jams and I'm just going to put them onto my door layer for now now that's a bit, um, a bit hard for me to see so I'm going to go and change the layer properties now and I'll make that door layer yellow that's a bit more uh, obvious that it's a different colour. To match that I'll make the walls yellow and the walls hatch can actually be uh, white or uh, yeah we'll just make it uh, magenta actually just so it stands out. So I'll give you there are slightly different standard colours for uh, different line weights. This would probably be uh, grey actually but we'll just leave it on that colour for now and uh, then you can see that the colour of those uh, door objects has changed automatically. And then the lines for the outside of the wall, I want them to go onto the wall layer, so I'm just going to select as many as I can get here. And then again choose the new layer. Yeah, probably quicker to set the layers as you go. Yeah. But uh, again, I mean, often uh, people will just start drawing without maybe thinking about all their layers and then start to organise them. And then uh, once they've got a few objects drawn, put them onto different layers and, uh, and then take it from there and then draw the new things on, on the layers. So uh, you can see here, because I haven't got much um, drawn, it won't take long to choose all these lines and put them onto the right layer. And so I'm just pressing escape each time to deselect my objects and uh, then the hatch is a bit of a tricky one because when you select the hatch it'll give you a special tab uh, to work with that hatch. So all you need to do there is... Yeah, exactly. Yep. Okay, so leave that open, or in other words, don't click close there, 
but just go back to the home tab and you can still change the layer then uh, like you would anything else. So again I've just pressed escape and you can see I've still got this hatch to do so I'll do that the same way. So back to home and then go to the right layer. Uh, this is pretty close to it actually. If I go into, uh, oh look, every office has a slightly different standard, um, but red it, for light is a very common standard, so when I put the door swing onto that layer, that's, um, that's pretty typical. Uh, a lot of Oh yeah, sorry, the classic, yeah, sorry, that's right, yeah, it is, sorry. Um, and so then, uh, what else we got? Oh, so the window doesn't have uh, any layers yet. And so I'll go back and uh, make uh, some layers for it. And uh, so I'll just make a couple of layers for now. I'll come back and show you the, if you want to make the correct layers, then uh, you'll need a few extra layers. And um, for now, we'll just keep it simple. So I'm just going to make window and uh, then window light. Just keeping it really simple for now. And I'll use similar colours to uh, what I used for the, for the door. So window light is like the door swing layer. Window I'll um, make the uh, same way as the door layer. So I'll make that yellow. And then the line weight, just uh, 0.35 for now. So I'll set the lines here with the window jams and the glass on window. And then the bottom of the window frame and then the bottom of the wall on window light. So then if you can start to think about how these line weights are grouped, all of those yellow lines are the same line weight. So they're all going to be heavy. The magenta lines are for the hatch, so they'll be uh, medium light I suppose, but really just medium here. And then the red lines are light. And that's because these are the parts being cut, the window jams and the walls are being cut and the window frame there is below the cut plane, so that's not being cut and the same there with the wall, that's really the window sill. Okay, so I'll, uh, I'll just uh, leave it at that for now, but I'll show you the print preview, how this is going to look when it uh, prints in black and white. And so to do a quick print you can just go to the main menu Choose print, set the scale, so here you've got to turn fit to paper off, and then you can choose the scale, in this case it's, uh, it's set up for 1 to 100 already. Uh, what to plot, you could set to, um, just to extents here, so I'll just leave that yep, set to extents. And then to get a preview, you need to choose a printer that's uh, available. So I'll choose uh, really any printer, it doesn't matter, this one here will do. So now I can do a preview. And you might get a message about the scaling, don't worry about that, just hit continue. And ah, I didn't set landscape, that's okay. So uh, I'll zoom in though just so you can see the shed. And you can see then that it's showing the different line weights. And it's often only when you print that you'll see the, uh, the line weights at the correct scale. Okay, so they're obviously um, still showing the colours. You normally don't want that, so I'm going to uh, go back to plot up here. Oops, sorry, no, that's going to print it out. Oh, that's alright. We'll come back to that. Uh, it'll come out in the printer in a minute. That's okay. So back to print, and so I'll set that up again, it's good to see it all again. So I'm going to choose the um, same printer, doesn't matter if it's the colour or black and white, because I'm going to set it to black and white. 
And then again, what to plot, I'll have on extents, fit to paper, turn off, and set the scale to 1 to 100. This time I will set the landscape. And so that I don't have to do this all again, I'm going to click apply to layout. And then I'll show you the preview again. Again, ignore that message, just hit continue. Okay, so it's getting better. I'm going to right click this time and choose exit. Or up the top you can click on the cross instead of print. Okay, so it's still uh, got some issues. So I'm going to go to um, window instead of what to plot. It should fit, but there's something uh, wrong with the size. I don't know what's happening, but we'll go to window. And then you can just make a window around the area that you want to print. It should be exactly on A4, but I don't know why it's not. Preview again. Uh, it's better. Let's uh, just exit that. And, oh yeah, center the plot. So if it doesn't seem to fit, try center the plot. It's just because the paper size is slightly different on uh, this printer. And there we go, so that's fitting exactly. And so then you can see it's still, again, colour. So the final thing there, um, and one that people often struggle with, is to set the plot style table. So here, you've got this option, monochrome. And if you get a message like this, just say yes. Okay, and so monochrome sets everything to print black. And that's a pretty good setting at first. Usually you do want all of your lines to print black. And the colours on the screen just give you an indication of the line weights. Okay, so again, to keep all of the settings, I'll click Apply to Layout, Preview, and there we are. So now, zooming in on this, you can see it's starting to look like a, like a real drawing. So all the line weights are coming up, but again, all the lines are black. So cross to exit. And uh, if I was happy with that again, I can just click OK, and that will with any light print out once we get some paper in the printer. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. That's it. Yep. So I'll just 